Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and the new 2024 Silverado 2500 HD refresh has finally been revealed. And we've got a ton of stuff to go over. Some good news, some bad news, but hey, the wait's over. So let's get into it. All right, so this was not something I was expecting from Chevrolet yesterday, but I'm certainly not going to complain about it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up this image here to start things off with the Refresh 24 Silverado 2500 HD. And before I discuss it any further or give you guys any more details, I want your very first reaction in the comment section below. Love the look, hate the look, first reaction, comment down below. I'm very curious to hear your initial thoughts because GM emailed me a ton of images of this new HD truck and high country trim, and I'm going to share them all with you. But after looking them over, my first reaction was that this new front end is certainly an improvement over the previous generation, which was, well, let's just say it was, it was a bit controversial. Uh, I, I didn't necessarily hate it. I didn't love it either, but I'm not exactly blown away by this new one either. Now, that may just be because we've been bombarded with new GM truck reveals for the last few months so that, you know, that new feeling when it comes to these front ends, it, they already kind of just don't feel new to me, uh, but that might just be me. And you guys can let me know if you agree with me or not. Now, I did say we had some good news and some bad news, so I'd like to share the bad first because it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. Uh, it's just not what we were all expecting. Some of you may remember a few months ago, I reported on some rumors that the upcoming Duramax would be getting a pretty significant performance increase. The fast lane truck, motor trend, GM authority, and pretty much everyone else were all on the same page with our expectations of a 500 plus horsepower Duramax with over a thousand pound feet of torque. To be more specific, we actually had, were looking at 505 horsepower and 1,087 pound feet of torque, but unfortunately that just doesn't seem to be the case. According to Chevrolet, quote, the horsepower and torque numbers increased to 470 horsepower and 970 pound-feet of torque. Additional changes and upgrades were designed to produce a more efficient combustion, which enhances overall performance. Further, engineers enhanced low-end torque production by up to 25% for improved performance at low speeds or climbing grades, and particularly when trailering, end quote. So, the Duramax did receive a performance increase. It just wasn't in line with what we were hoping for or expecting, according to all our sources. The good news is that the Allison 10-speed transmission is now standard equipment for both the 6.6 V8 gas as well as the Duramax, which means the gas engine will be able to hold closer to its peak power for longer periods of time. Certainly some good news there for the 6.6 gas buyers. The 2024 lineup includes 2500 HD and 3500 HD models in regular cab, double cab, and crew cab configurations. Dual rear wheel models are available on 3500 HD, and they support the lineup's highest trailering capacity of 36,000 pounds. The 2024 Silverado HD is available in work truck, custom LT, LTZ, and high country trims, and get this, the ZR2 will also join the HD trim lineup later in this model year for the very first time. As of right now, this is the only image we have of the upcoming ZR2 trim, so we've got plenty left up to our imagination until Chevy decides to give us a more detailed look. In addition to the ZR2, we're also getting the High Country Midnight Edition package, which is the truck you're looking at right now and the truck I used in the thumbnail. This package includes a black hood vent, black grill, black lower skid, black mirror caps, black bow tie, black badging, black body side molding, black 20 inch, the wheels actually look really, really good. Black door handles, black, you, you get the point, right? It's completely blacked out. Uh, so if blacked out trucks are your jam, that's your thing, uh, this might be the one for you, especially it's kind of cool now that we're getting it in the High Country trim. Now, we all expected a massive, massive update when it comes to the HD's interior, especially after seeing the treatment that the 1500 trucks received with the 2022 model year. And thankfully, that of course has happened. I know most of you knew this was coming, but even more so after I managed to get my hands on some of those spy photos last month and showed you all the interior early. Uh, but the new interior was, in my opinion, the most important thing for Chevy to do here. According to Chevrolet, quote, LT, LTZ, and the high country models introduce a dramatically redesigned passenger space centered around an all new instrument panel that houses an expansive infotainment screen, a 13.4 inch infotainment display, and a 12.3 inch configurable driver information center complements the new infotainment display. The infotainment screen and other controls are also tilted toward the driver, giving the driver more of a command center perspective. This ethos pulls directly from the simple and iconic looks the CK series trucks set in the 1970s and 1980s. 
This smarter command center also includes a redesigned wireless phone charger area to reduce distractions. The latter design provides the spaciousness of a bench seat while retaining the functionality of a center console. Ahead of the driver is an available and configurable heads-up display. It's a more open feeling and contemporary interior that passengers will find inviting, said Phil Zack, executive director of Global Chevrolet Design. It's an environment that intentionally puts more at the driver's fingertips for a greater feeling of confidence and connection with the vehicle, end quote. I think we can all agree. It's essentially a cut and paste of the 2022 Silverado 1500 interior, and that is no dig. I am totally okay with that. In fact, I'm happy to see it. Additional interior updates and upgrades include fresh screen displays and graphics inspired by the recently refreshed Silverado 1500. We've got authentic leather-wrapped surfaces and real wood accents available on certain models. We've got the new center console on LT, LTZ, and high country models that incorporate an available wireless charger. We've got more space for side-by-side -side cup holders in the console. There's actually a total of 10 cup holders now available, depending on the model and configuration. So, you know, if everyone's dying of thirst, you... Things should be covered there. Uh, new audio control knobs that help strike an ideal balance between physical and digital controls, along with similar buttons recently introduced in the refreshed Silverado 1500 that allow some popular features to be accessed with a single push. And I know I've mentioned this a ton. There's a lot of physical buttons that I'm a huge fan of, and I'm glad they're keeping them around. Climate vents and controls for second row passengers, enhanced hidden storage, including in the console, upper and lower glove boxes, and even a sunglass holder behind the infotainment screen. We've also got some towing enhancements in addition to all that. The 2024 Silverado HD's gross combined weight rating with the 6.6 liter engine increases to 26,000 pounds, up from 24,000 pounds previously. Max towing packages available on all Silverado 2500 HD trims, allowing 22,500 pounds with the 6.6 liter Duramax. The transparent trailer technology has been expanded, allowing it to work with fifth wheel and gooseneck trailers now, which is pretty awesome. I love that feature. It's really, really cool. And adaptive cruise control now allows the truck to account for additional drag and increased braking distance when towing a trailer. So even more good news there. All in all, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this refresh. I think exterior-wise, it's quite an improvement, though nothing overly dramatic, but we should keep in mind that this is simply a refresh. This is not a complete redesign. So consider that before you, you know, make too many judgments. The interior update that we all needed has arrived, and I can't really think of much left that I could want other than, of course, that big power increase for the Duramax. But let me know what your thoughts are on the new 2024 Silverado HD. Does it meet your expectations? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, if you can help me out, all you gotta do is just smash the like button. That's it. That's all I ask from you. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. I truly appreciate all the support. Have a great rest of your week. Take care.